What's going on everyone and welcome back to a new video on the channel. Welcome to some more Forza Horizon 5 and in today's video we're playing with the new Dodge Durango Hellcat. Um, not an overly enthusiastic intro is it? Because I don't really care for this car that much. But someone sent me a tune for it. So I was like you know what let's try it out. Just for a little bit of fun you know. Just, just to mess around with it. Uh, we already have a Dodge Durango in the game. It just wasn't the Hellcat. But this was obviously one of the newer cars that they've added into the game with the new festival playlist. For your 20 points as you can see in this season so i got it and now i'm playing with it well i got it on stream i ended up streaming on youtube and there's much of you guys actually came and watched me get it as well uh but i also wanted to play a test drive in the stream and i couldn't get onto the game honestly i wanted i still want to play test drive now but the game just doesn't work properly it it's so stupid how it's just so bad day like four days after release and the game is still not playable and I, what I mean by not playable is sometimes you won't be able to get into races because it's always online. And then sometimes, or sorry, all the time, 100% of the time, the game doesn't run properly on my computer. <laughs> I, don't, I don't understand. It's not it's not that graphically intense to run on, on any computer. And uh, it's just not able to run on my computer. I have an i9 and a 3080 Ti and it's not able to run. I'm getting like 50 FPS in the game and it makes no sense i have this game forza maxed out and i'm getting over 100 fps consistently on it and i'm pretty sure that this is more graphically intense than that game even though that game has a bigger map it doesn't obviously load the entire map in because that's not how it works but like I, I don't understand how they made it so bad where it just doesn't work regardless enough about that that game at the moment let's talk about this game and this build right now the reason why i'm driving this thing in this video is because someone sent me a tune for it and i kind of want to try it um they put snow tires on it instead of drag tires, which is a little bit weird. But he said it makes it for more, uh, what's he say exactly? I'm trying, to, I'm trying to read it. It says it's a more interactive, it's more interactive to drift with. Makes no difference whatsoever. Just that dr drag tires are slipperier than uh, snow tires. And that's pretty much it. That's the only difference in this game with that. And it doesn't have drift suspension, which again, kind of intrigues me a little bit more because he made a drift build with no drift suspension. In the game, it is possible, um, but it is also kind of all-wheel drive. I'm guessing it's all-wheel drive because it wouldn't make sense for it for you to make this thing rear-wheel drive, and uh, and not have drift suspension because it just wouldn't work properly. So let's try out his two and see if it's actually good or if he's just shunt shit. Pretty much. Uh, let's see. So I don't know why he put the code in like that. It's very weird. It's like the spaces between like every other like number. It's very odd looking. Four one two six two seven one five four. By the way, if you guys want to send over some tunes yourselves, over on the Discord, link to that is down below. Go click it and you can join the Discord. You can send tunes for me to use in future videos. I have a whole community there. You can talk to people, you can hang out, you can do whatever you want. And of course, while you're down there, you can subscribe to to the channel as well. And <laughs> okay, drift. All right, it's on rally suspension, which is what it should be on. If it doesn't have drift suspension, because rally suspension, I'm pretty sure, increases the steering angle ever so slightly, just slightly more than if you were to be on like stock suspension, for example, or race suspension or anything else. Rally suspension used to be what it was used back in the day on Forza Horizon 3, I remember, when we didn't actually have drift suspension in the game. Snow tire compound, still all-wheel drive. He's given it all the beans, 1,750 horsepower, 2,000 newton meters of torque, still heavy. Still almost 2 tons. 1.9 tons. Let's install it. It's not a very interesting car, but him doing this to it makes it a little bit more interesting. If that makes sense. Anyway, I want to try it out and see what it's like. Okay, I'm not steering, so the toe was completely done in for, uh, for this. Steering response is dog with this thing. Is am I even on sim steering? No, I'm not on sim steering. It's just weird. It still feels really. Why is the steering response so bad on it? Well, I don't understand the deal. Like it, you, you kind of. He said he didn't make it as a point drift build, but he made the suspension like a point drift build car. Well, not even. It's like even more exaggerated than a point drift build. But then decided to put snow tires on it instead of the drag tires, which is what people were like telling him in in the replies on his uh, on his post on my Discord. Very very weird. 
So you didn't do as a puncture of build, but you gave it puncture of build suspension? <laughs> or ex even a more exaggerated puncture of build suspension? Very strange. Try to see how much angle we can actually hold with this thing, because I'm expecting not much. I don't like the responsiveness of it. I feel like it's a little bit sluggish. Oh, I don't know if I like this thing, man. It just feels like a big... Big unresponsive boat. Oh my, how early am I supposed to start counter -seeing? I swear to god, I did it before it even transitioned. <laughs> I kind of wanted to do that on purpose. I'm not gonna lie to you. This thing sucks. What is going on? This is bad. I don't know how this guy got 1.1 mil with this thing. Unless he just constantly rewinded over and over again until he... Might actually get the points right. It's got no grip whatsoever. Absolutely zero grip whatsoever. How are you? How have you done this to a vehicle that's already unresponsive and made it even less responsive? I can't have any angle with it. Because if I increase the angle too much. It's not responsive enough for me to like transition and catch it again. I mean, it's got the power to like push itself along. That's that's the one thing that I have absolutely no issues with. It weighs almost two tons, so it definitely needs over a thousand horsepower with with ease and a lot of torque. a very very strange handling car I gotta say very very strange I used to do this back to my cars back in the day back on Forza Horizon 4 you used to be able to uh, well, not used to be able to but you used to uh, obviously give it extreme camera and extreme tow maybe I'm just what used to driving in this game because I've been playing Carax for so long now oh since it came out I've just been playing Carax every single day this game I've kind of like left behind a little bit I've only played it when I kind of felt like playing it. Why is this guy just following me? Just go ahead. Go, just go somewhere. Do something. <laughs> Why are you just on me? <laughs> Bro, just leave me alone. I'm, I'm not trying to, like, race with you. I'm not trying to do anything with you. I know it's free room now, but... Just go away. Because he just keeps catching up to me and then ghosting inside my car. Just, just leave me alone. Let me try and... And drive this thing. I definitely don't need a distraction right now. Because this thing sucks ass. Okay. I mean, once you get the hang of it, it's not actually that bad. It's just a whisper. It's just the responsiveness of it is horrendous. It doesn't have the extra steering angle, but you can, there's still ways that you can have it so it catches. Oh my god, man. This is probably one of the worst... One of the worst vehicles to try and drift in this game. This guy's tried his best to make it so it slides and it, this thing just... This thing just blows, man. It's just bad. And I, I'm not even blaming this guy's tune at all. I'm just saying that the car itself just sucks. And even Dom tried this thing in A-Class and he said it's very average. A-Class racing, like off-road racing and all that. He tried it and it's just incredibly, incredibly average. There's nothing special or redeeming about this vehicle. Okay, right into this game. Absolutely no reason for them to add this into the game. This is probably one of the laziest ones that they've done, right? Out of all the cars that they've added to the game. Oh, I can't wait for next season, though. Oh, my God. If you guys have... I don't know if you guys have seen or kept up with the 
to date with the Forza Horizon 5 updates. And what's going on next season? Ooh, next season's gonna be so good. So, so, so good. The cars are very interesting in it. I'm excited to drive the cars. We got a brand new game mode that's coming out, the hide and seek game mode. That should be kind of interesting to try and mess around with. Uh, unfortunately, I don't think you can create like your own private lobby. I wish you can. Because that would be kind of interesting for me to try and maybe do uh, like a, a sub kind of run with, or with people. Like a little hide and seek like with my subscribers and stuff like that. Oh yeah, I almost 1.1 mil points with this thing. What a absolutely horrendous run, constantly rewinding and everything. I want to try and put my own twist on it and my own tune on this thing, because I feel like I can probably do something um, that's that's better than that. Uh, first and foremost, I am going to put drag tires on it. I feel like the snow tires are good, but what this guy did, he ended up kind of trying to make a point drift build, but then put snow tires on it instead. So let me try and do my own build here and see what I can do. Alright, I've done my build, um, I've practiced, or not, sorry, not practiced, <laughs> I've gone down a little bit just to test it out and see what it's like, and this is kind of what I've come up with, so obviously as you can see it's on drag tires, power and weight is pretty much the exact same as it was before, from this guy's tune, so it's about 1750 horsepower and it weighs just 1.9 tons, and uh, I've made mine, a lot closer to a 50-50 torque distribution, just to see if it'll help a little bit with with uh, with the old handling of this thing. Because I'm not able to get a massive amount of angle with it, what I really need, obviously, from it is to be very easily controllable. Basically, what I'm doing here, the thing is that the issue with it is that the back really likes to overtake the front a lot, and obviously, because I don't have drift suspension on it, I need to be ultra ultra careful that that doesn't happen that almost happened there and uh, the only way to do that is by not having a massive amount of angle I mean that was pretty much the same same deal with his but somehow I don't know how he managed to make his I mean, it's probably the excessive toe that he used on his build but he made his car so unbelievably unresponsive and I don't understand how you managed to do that which is the the, the toe because this thing right now with the drag tires on it, which drag tires are supposed to be slipperier, like they, they allow a lot more slip than the uh, than the, the 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 snow tires that he ended up using. I don't know how he managed to make his less responsive than what I have going on right now. And you can see it's quite a lot easier to drive. So when people in in the replies to your to your um, to your post on my Discord, we're telling you that the drag tires are better for drifting, and you're kind of coming at their neck saying that yeah you wanted to make this car not a point drift build, but you still ended up putting like point drift build style suspension on your car and a build on it that kind of signifies or or kind of shows that it is a point drift build, and you even give us like points, like you you said that you, it's a car that can get 1.1 mil points. I mean. That signifies that you're kind of interested in the amount of points that it gets, so you kind of want it to be a point drift build. You know? So when people are telling you that, that something is better, and you just simply go at their neck because they're telling you that, that that's better, even though you said that you didn't want to make it as a point drift build, and you wanted to make it more interactive, or whatever you said, to drift with, which makes no sense whatsoever, whatever that is. Because I have less control with your car than I do with my car, for example. Oh, I lost it. <laughs> I say that and I lost it. I'm trying to increase... I... Sorry, I'm not trying to. I accidentally increased my angle too far. And then, obviously, I'm trying to slide all the way to the other end. And then, you know, handbrake kind of uh, pushes the back end way too far. And then it starts overtaking the front. But yeah, once it starts to overtake the front, it's, it's, it's all over. Like, that's it. You're kind, of, you're kind of screwed there. You need to try and really save yourself. Either try and rewind and fix it, and uh, and hopefully you can get it better the second time around, or somehow, some way, slow your car down as much as possible, because then you'll be able to catch it. But this happens a lot with this car. Backhand will end up overtaking the front a lot. It doesn't matter what kind of build you put on it. it it's just unless you make it, I think front wheel drive, or mostly front wheel drive. That's the only way. You can get this thing to not overtake the front. 
Maybe be incredibly high in the revs or something? I don't know. I don't know what else you can try and do. With this thing to not make it drive like that, but... See it right there. Overtaking the front. That's it. It's over. There's no drift suspension to save me, so... Which is insane to me, because... Oh man, I don't even know what to, what to say. Like, it's just... It's just... It's bad. Like, that's about as much as I can do. In terms of steering angle. See, for some of the corners, like some of the tighter corners, like this one, you can increase your steering angle because you will be able to catch it. No problem. Yeah, I mean, it's capable of 1.1 mil. I mean, he probably got 1.1 mil as well, but he'll see him, which isn't really like... Not, you know, crazy or anything like that, but... I don't know how you made yours so unresponsive compared to this thing. It's just not good. Is this one of the most useless cars in this game right now? Is anybody actually ever going to use this thing? In this game? Seriously. I'm genuinely interested to see if anybody actually uses this thing. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you want to see more videos like this on the channel, then of course, subscribe. Like this video if you want to see more on uh, on this game or pretty much any other game. Because obviously, of course, it shows me that you enjoy the content that you're seeing on the channel. But yeah, I mean, yeah, it's, it's a very just useless car in this game. It's not good at anything. We already have a Dodge Durango in the game. Uh, it just wasn't the Hellcat, that was pretty much it. That was the only difference. I mean, they could have just added the Hellcat in the first place with this game instead, but... I mean... I, I guess not. <laughs> I guess not. Regardless, this was the Dodge Durango. Um, yeah. I guess you can try out his tune for yourselves and let me know how you get on with it. But, yeah. It's just a little weird. Just a little weird to drive. Alright, I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye, everyone. Have a good day.